students today we will learn about browsing internet in today's time the internet has emerged as the most effective communication tool due to the advent of the internet the internet enables us to exchange ideas and share information with a large number of people in real time communication process has become easier and faster with the help of computer network a computer network means two or more computers connected together with special cables or devices to share information. Let me first tell you what is internet. Millions of computers around the world are connected to each other to share information through internet. Internet stands for international network. It has many features but it is generally used as a means to communicate and search endless amount of information from unlimited number of sources. It is like a huge library that offers various types of information. Now let's talk about the uses of the internet. It provides information or news on any topic. It allows us to send and receive messages, text, images, sound, videos anytime and anywhere. We can have video as well as text chat with our friends using internet, video telephony with the help of a computer, internet and web camera. Buy or sell new or old goods. Buy airline, railway, movie tickets. Perform banking operations. Check exam results. In short, we can say that the purpose of internet is to make our lives easier and better. Let us understand basic requirements for an internet connection. To connect your computer with internet, you need the following hardware and software. Modem, telephone line, an internet connection, web browser. Students note that modem is a device that connects your computer with a telephone line. It changes the computer signal so that they can travel through telephone lines and vice versa. Now let's talk about few internet terms. Website. The information available on the internet is contained in the websites and on the web pages. As a book contains a number of pages, similarly a website is a collection of related web pages linked to one another. Web page. Information is put on the internet in the form of digital pages called web pages. These pages may contain text, graphics, video, audio and links to other pages. Home page. The main page of any website which contains links to other pages is called the home page. By default, it is the first page of every website. Web Browser A web browser is a software application or program that allows you to access the entire information available on the web. You can visit any website by entering its URL in the address bar of a web browser. Browsers make it very easy to move from one website to another. You can normally open your web browser from a shortcut on your desktop. Examples of some popular web browsers are Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, etc. Who are they? They are Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the founders of Google, world's most popular search engine. URL to visit your friend's place, you need to know his address. Similarly, to visit any website, you need to know its address. Each website is identified by its unique address, which is known as the Uniform Resource Locator, URL. The URL should be entered in the address bar of a web browser. For example, www.cartoonnetwork.com and www.discoverychannel.com are the URLs of Cartoon Network and Discovery Channel respectively. Students, who is he? He is Tim Berners-Lee, founder of World Wide Web. ISP ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. An ISP is a company which offers you to use Internet in exchange of a monthly fee. It provides software, username and password to the user in order to get connected to the Internet. 
World Wide Web WWW The World Wide Web refers to a network of sites on the internet which contains information in the form of text, pictures, animation and videos. This information can be accessed by people all over the world. Address Bar The address bar appears at the top of every web browser. To visit a website, you need to put its URL into the address bar. To do this, place the cursor at the address bar and type the address. For example, www.wikipedia.org. As you finish typing, press the Enter key. The website of Wikipedia appears as shown in the figure. Students, let us know more. A hyperlink or link is a text or image which connects different web pages with one another. When the mouse pointer is placed on the hyperlink, the cursor changes into a hand icon. Alright students, note that while typing in the address bar, the browser suggests the recently or frequently visited websites. Alright, let me tell you about using a web browser. Google Chrome is one of the most popular and widely used web browsers developed by Google. Students, let's know the fact. Microsoft Edge is the default browser of Windows 10. You can open it either by double-clicking on its icon on the desktop or select the start then go to Google Chrome. The Chrome toolbar is shown in the figure below. Students, let's know the fact. The latest version of Google Chrome is Chrome 51 which was released on May 25, 2016. Back. Clicking on this button takes you back to the previous page you have already visited. Forward. Clicking on the forward button will take you to the page you were on before you press the back button. To view the next pages in serial order, click on the forward button. Reload this page. Clicking on this button will reload the most recent version of current page. Bookmark this page. This option allows the user to store and organize the chosen website so that he can revisit them anytime whenever needed. New tab. Clicking on this button allows you to open a web page in a new tab. You can also open a link in a new tab. Right click on the link and select the open link in new tab option. Customize and control Google Chrome. Clicking on this button will display a drop-down menu with several options to customize and control the Google Chrome settings. Some of these options are Print. Clicking on this option prints a copy of web page you are viewing. History. This option displays a list of websites you visited recently. Zoom. The zoom option allows you to increase or decrease the size of the content of a web page. Click on plus symbol to zoom in the page. Click on minus symbol to zoom out the page. Click on full screen symbol to select the full screen mode. More tools. Clicking on this option provides different options like save page as clear browsing data, task manager, etc. Students, let's take a quick view. Press F11 to enter the exit full screen mode in Google Chrome. Students know the fact that emoticons, internet users invented emoticons. A combination of the terms emotion and icons, a sequence of keyboard characters that symbolize facial expressions. Example, look like a smiling face when you look at it sideways. Okay students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Internet stands for International Network of Computers. A website is a collection of web pages. Information available on the internet is in the form of digital pages which are called the web pages. Web browser is a special program that allows the user to access information on the web. WWW refers to the collection of information on the internet that can be accessed by people all over the world. Each website is identified by its unique address known as URL, Uniform Resource Locator. An ISP Internet Service Provider is a company which offers you to use internet in exchange of a monthly fee.